Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete the old recovery partition. So, uh, whenever you install the Windows in legacy BIOS mode, by default it creates only two partitions. One is the system partition that also contains the recovery image and the second partition is the Windows operating system. So, if I take you over to the disk management by right-clicking the start button and going on to disk management, and there you're gonna see that I have three partitions so when I installed this windows it was on the version 18 or 9 it was just having this partition and this partition and this was having the system partition that is boot configuration database and the second thing that it was having was the recovery environment so when I upgraded to 1909 the image the recovery environment got bigger and it was not able to accommodate it in this partition so it has created a new partition that is over here and this is now the new recovery partition so I just now want to get rid of this partition so you have two alternatives available you can use some partitioning manager to shrink this because you can see from here that this reserved partition is just 94 percent free so 549 MB it is uh, 514 MB free space so you can just shrink it and then extend this C volume in the back position in the backwards or you can just delete this and if you're deleting this all you need to do is you need to just move on all the configuration database to this partition and then you have to make this partition as active so I'm gonna show you how to delete this partition and create a configuration database in this partition and then activate it so for that you just need to move on to the recovery environment so just click the start button click the power menu and then shift and click on restart so it will take you to the recovery environment okay so you want to troubleshoot go on to advance and click on command prompt and in this command prompt we will be using a command line utility called as disk part and in this disk part utility, I'll be deleting that first partition. And then we will be uh, over here. You just need to have the admin password. I have, I don't have any password. So I'm back on the command prompt. So over here, you can type in disk part. I'm on disk part. I have only one hard drive. If you have multiple hard drive, you just need to select the hard drive. Uh, just say over here so if I say list disk to see the list of hard disk I have only one hard disk disk 0 I need to select that hard disk so typing in cell disk 0 I'm selecting disk 0 now if I do list uh, list disk you're gonna see over here a star next to the disk that you have selected and for me it is just 50 gigs I'll say list partition and it's showing you three partition the first one is the recovery partition that was the old recovery partition and I will select that S-E-L-P-A-R select partition uh, select partition 1 and that partition got selected so if I again do list partition you're gonna see a star is appearing over here that represents that partition that we are going to operate on is selected now if I want to see the details of that partition I say D-E-T-P-A-R so you can see over here that currently this partition is the active partition and the partition type is 07 so I will be deleting this partition so I say del partition and that partition got deleted so if I do again list partition you're gonna see that we have only partition 2 and partition 3 now what we have to do is we have to activate this partition so I need to select the partition 3 so if I say cell partition 3 and that partition got selected if you want to confirm just the do a list partition and you're gonna see a star over here now if you want to see the properties of this partition just type in list partition uh, sorry d-e-t-p-a-r for details of partition you are seeing that this is not active partition so I simply type a-c-t -A for activate and it is now active again if I say d-e-t-p-a-r for details of partition now this partition is active now what I need to do is I need to create the configuration database in this in this partition so I just exit out of here and how to create the configuration database we can do using BCD boot so before using BCD boot we need to find out that where is in which volume we have Windows installed so if I go to C drive and I do DIR uh, if I go to D drive DIR you can see we have all those folders that we have in Windows 
program files, program file CD6, users and windows, they are sitting over here. So our windows volume is D drive. So I can say bcd boot d colon slash windows, uh, sorry, that's bcd boot d colon slash windows and press enter key. And now you can see it has successfully created uh, the boot configuration database over there. Now I just need to restart the machine and continue booting to Windows 10. Okay, so now if I go to disk management by right clicking over here and disk management and from here you're gonna see that I have uh, an, allocated scale, an allocated space of 550 MB. Now using this disk management tool, I cannot extend this C drive to, uh, to use this space. I just need to use some third party tool. In this case, I'm use, going to use Ease as Partition Manager, but there are a lot of third party free uh, tools available. You can use them. You can use Mini Tool Partition Wizard also. I'll just double click on this and click on Yes. And I don't want to get the professional version of this software. So now I can see that this is the unallocated space. This is the C drive. So if I right click, you can see resize from here. Or you can also do it from the right side menu. You can just click on resize or move. And then you can just move on the slider to the left. And click on OK. Now you can see that it is occupying the entire seed, entire unallocated space. Now I just need to click on execute operation one and it will require a reboot. So I'll just click on apply. Yes. And after restarting, uh, you're going to see that it is occupying the entire C drive space. So it's going to little, it's going to take some little bit of time depending on how much um, content you have in the C drive. Okay, so now if I go back to disk management, and now you can see this is your boot partition and this is your recovery partition and the active system partition. So that's how we can delete the old recovery partition. Hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing for Windows that is installed in, in the UEFI mode.